Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today we're doing something that I should do more, but I never really do it, so that's why we're here today. Hi, today we are going to three very trendy, very well-known, very poppin', happenin' coffee shops in LA. People in LA are like really about their coffee and they're also really about like a scene and a vibe and you know, all that stuff. I'm typically more of like Starbucks, coffee at home, chill. That's my vibe, but there's a lot of cool places here that a lot of people are into and people are always posting Instagrams there. It's like a big thing. Lots of hype around these spots. So I'm wondering, is the coffee that good or is it the hype? Is it that you can get a good Instagram picture there? Is it aesthetically pleasing? I really don't know. So that's what we're gonna go do today and find out. We're gonna go to three different popular, sceny, trendy, bougie coffee shops. All right. Let's go. So the first place we're going to is called Alfred's and I've been there before and I will say, you know what? It is very aesthetic, I have to admit it. I've had matcha there and I don't think I've ever had their coffee so let's do that today. But this one is very trendy. It's in a really cute spot too. Maybe we'll walk around the area after. Ooh, that would be fun. But it's on Melrose and that's where like all the coolest stores are. Really cool shops, cool hair salons. Basically like everything that's like really bouge, really nice and really trendy. So that's what we're about to pull up right now. I forgot to show you guys my outfit of the day in the mirror, so here it is. It's like fall, you know? So this is my excuse to bust out the tights. It's also low-key a little bit cold. I also have worn this hoodie 800 times, but I love it. So Alfred's coffee is like back there, and Alfred's tea room is right over there, and that's the one that's super pink, super Insta-worthy, and yeah, I'm excited, let's go. So this was my matcha. The place was really cute. You'll see it in a second, but everything was pink, girly, pretty. My matcha tasted good. You know what? It did taste good. I got a matcha latte with almond milk, and I believe I got it unsweetened. And the place was really... It was just cute. You know what I mean? It was pink. There was a cute little sign. Tea, yes, you may be... I get it. It's cute. Lots of people in there that order their drink like this, which I don't have a problem with, but like if you're into that sort of thing, like you're in for that sort of thing if you catch my drift. But besides that, I mean, they had food there. They had little juices. It was cute. It was small. Like I couldn't go there and get work done. It was just tiny and it was more of like a pit stop place. You know what I mean? Walk in, get your thing, walk out. I loved this sign. I will say that. I love you so much. I'm like, okay, cute branding. Okay, so was I blown away by that place? Not really. I think it's like a cute spot to stop by and get some like matcha there was barely any food the price was fine it was five bucks it was small nothing crazy i think the literal appeal is that there's pink walls like i did not see anything else special about that place so as far as the crowd goes very modely i saw two girls that were probably a foot taller than me very hipstery saw some hipsters in there as far as the area goes lots of like nice bougie cars um but i did not see anything really special about that place not gonna lie I mean like there was no place where you even pop up a laptop and get some work done it was just kind of small and that was it but let's go across the street to the coffee shop version of Alfred's because that's what this video is I low-key just wanted some matcha but let's go see that place I'm honestly surprised by how hyped that place is because there was nothing special not gonna lie what I will say though is if you're into just like regular people shit like I am it's kind of like you walk around and you're like, eh, this feels, you know, it's that whole poopity poopity vibe. So if you're into that, you're into that. I'm not judging. I'm just walking around feeling judged. So this is Alfred Coffee. This one is super well known. I think this sign, but first coffee is like super popular and I'm, I believe it's them that started that whole thing. So iconic. Anyways, I walked downstairs and saw the rest of the coffee shop and I've actually had a meeting in here and it was a cute meeting. It was like a cute spot to have a meeting, very trendy, you know, it was cool. They had little pastries and they had an interesting menu. There was actually a lot of different options, which I liked. I hate when you go to a place and there's like five things on the menu, like give me variety. And they had lots of food, which we'll talk about what type of food this is in a little bit. Meet me at Alfred. I love the neon signs and just the signs and the branding in general. Also this dog, ugh, love that dog. And I wanted to show you guys that it was right by all the bougie shops. 
like Oscar de la Renta, you know, it's right next to it. Very bouge. The Chloe store, guys, have you ever seen a store like this? Because this Chloe store looks so nice. Like what? A green pathway walkway into a purse store? Like, okay, I loved it. Okay, so the coffee side did have more food options. I got a vegan pressed tofu and Thai peanut sandwich. And I got a wild salmon salad. So this place, Erwan, that's like basically all the food they had in there. Basically, Erwan is a grocery store that is apparently astronomically expensive. I have never stepped foot in there because I, that's just not appealing to me. So um, yeah, this is where this is from. And that was like all the food they had there. So I get it. It's a bougier situation. Um, I'll let you know how this tastes. I mean, it's probably going to taste good, but for these two things, it was $25. So as far as the crowd goes, same type of vibe. I mean, people were just chilling, but it's one of those places that I felt awkward filming and that's how I know. That's how I can tell if a vibe is weird, if I'm like hiding to take a thumbnail or like awkwardly filming because I feel like people are judging me. So it's definitely one of those environments. Um, but there was a lot more people there like doing like work and there was more space there to like pop up a laptop and get some work done, which I appreciated because that's what I look for in a coffee shop. Okay, I honestly have no idea how this is gonna taste. I mean, it looks good, I think. I think this looks good. I'm sorry, there's just nothing good about this. I do not see the appeal. I mean, I don't know, I just, this is not, would not recommend. Okay, so I don't know if I'm being dramatic or if I'm over-exaggerating or if I'm, this to me is like taking $10 and just putting it in the toilet and just flushing it. Like, I'm sorry, I'm so unimpressed. That was not, even the vibes in there. Okay, I'm gonna try to just keep my optimistic perspective on this video, but stop number one. I'm like, really? All right, guys, we are at our next spot and this place is called Verve. I've never been here, but I asked around. I asked my friends who are very sceney, like they, they know what's cool. And they said to come to Verve. They said it was like super popular. Everybody knows Verve and it's like one of those places. So we're still on that same like general area of the last place. This place looks dope though. Like across the street is Acne Studios, which I'm gonna check out with my coffee while I'm sipping on it because I heard they have really cute clothes. And yeah, I'm excited to check this place out. It seems cool, not gonna lie. So let's go inside and I'm gonna get myself a coffee decaf because it is too late for me to have any more caffeine. So yeah, let's get it. So this is Verve, guys. It was actually pretty close to the other place. I think it took me like five minutes driving. Look at the natural lighting in this place. Are you kidding? Sunlight coming in from every window. They had their little stuff that you could buy for home. So cute. I really, really loved the vibes of this place when I walked in. The menu had actual food on it. The guy was so nice. He was so nice. I was like, I've never been here before. He was so nice to me. These coffee machines look fancy. I could actually spend some time here and enjoy myself. Okay, guys. So I've only been here for a bit and I haven't even gotten my coffee yet, but this place, this place is more my vibe. I absolutely love it. Not only is it like so cute inside of here, but I could actually see myself getting work done. They have tables, there's no blasting music that's making it super distracting to get literally anything done. The guy up front was so nice. I was like, it's my first time here, help me out. And he was so patient, so kind. They actually have a good food menu. The prices are not astronomical. It just looks like Definitely bougie and definitely nice, but not, it doesn't give me like stuck up vibes, which I love about it. Like I could come here and literally just hang out, go shopping, yes. But I'll let you know how the coffee tastes, that's real tea. Whoa, okay. I have never seen a coffee like this in my life. So it was called an espresso tonic. I was confused by that, but I was definitely intrigued. So what it is, is it's two shots of espresso with tonic water. I don't know what this is gonna be like. Should I mix it? I don't know what to do with this drink, but I'm intrigued. Wow. I can firmly say I have never had anything like this. I like this. And you know what? I like that I can come to a place that's bougie, where people are still nice. No one's staring at me. I don't feel judged. Like I'm just happily enjoying a bougie environment and living my best life. And this coffee's lit. And it was also five bucks exactly, so the same price as the other one. The vibes that I got at that coffee place were so 
good. Like, oh my gosh, I loved it. First of all, it was gorgeous in there. It was beautiful, it was super open. And I love a coffee shop that does not blast music. Like, what? I get that coffee shops play music so that you don't hear everybody's conversation. But honestly, my nosy ass, like, I don't mind hearing everybody's conversation. I just don't want to hear like John Mayer or something over the speaker surround sound when I'm trying to go there to get some work done. So I appreciated that there was no music. Also, the menu had things like an avocado toast, like uh, steel cut oats, like real food, which is something that I wish more coffee shops had, like real food. But I, I do want healthy food from a coffee shop. Like I don't want to go to a coffee shop that sells fries, you know what I mean? But an avocado toast? Absolutely, I want that with some coffee. That place rocked. Oh my God, I love that place. I will say that this is a bit of an acquired taste, like, like tonic and espresso. It's it's good, I like it, but I think I would need to have it like three or four more times to really like get into it. Now I'm on the way to the last place we're gonna go check out and this one is called Blue Bottle Coffee. A lot of people told me about this one, a lot of my friends. I see this place like everywhere and I've never been, I've never even stumbled across one. What I hope it is, is like really good coffee and like a cool vibe. I'm hoping that it's relaxed. That's what I want in a coffee shop. I just want a super relaxed, chill place that I could just go mind my own business. Like that's all I want. And good coffee, obviously. Ooh, hopefully they have some like good food. So upon my arrival, I realized that I've actually been to this place in New York. I didn't even realize. What I did remember from New York though is that it was super expensive. Like, I don't remember how much I paid for my coffee, but I think it was like seven bucks or something. Anyways, look how cute the little coffee came out. I love a coffee with a design on it, seriously, except it was so full that I was so worried about spilling it, but I didn't. Anyways, I liked the vibe in there, just very white, pure, clean walls, like no over-the-top decorations, no anything, pretty minimalistic, the coffee was good, and the people in there were really, really nice. They gave me the time of day, they were talking to me, super helpful, they wanted to make sure that I enjoyed my order, and and I liked that place, honestly, because of how nice the employees were. The menu was cute too. It didn't have as much on it as the place before it, but it did have some food options, which I like in a coffee place. Cause think about it, in the morning, do I wanna go to one place to get a little snack and one place to get my coffee? No, like give it to me good, give me all of it. Anyways, I thought this place was super cute and straight to the point. Like it was not like a huge coffee shop. It was just like, boom, here it is. Guys, I literally totally forgot to film an outro, but hi, I'm posting the video today. Okay, so let me know in the comments which coffee, I just woke up. Let me know in the coffee shop. <laughs> let me know in the comments which coffee place was your favorite. And yeah, I'm going back to my normal coffee routine, which is just drinking it at home and minding my own damn business. But yeah, thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you like found this concept interesting. So I'll be chatting with you in the comments and actually let me know your favorite coffee stop spot. I love you guys. Bye.